Hey guys, Patrick here with SC9 for Handles Adventure Train. We're coming to you today from the shop of Knob Creek Forge, a good friend of mine, James Gibson. James, you want to tell everybody hey? Hey, folks. We're going to ask him a few questions. This is another video in our Designer's Corner series that we started with Ruben. Uh, James, what first got you into wilderness survival, primitive skills, knife making, that kind of stuff? Okay, this book right here. Larry Dean Olson's Outdoor Survival Skills. And uh, this little pocket edition came out in 1976, I believe. And I found it like 77, maybe 78, uh, somewhere. I can't remember exactly. But what really lit my fire when I was young, I remember uh, it was in the 60s. Uh, went to the uh, Brakes Drugstore down in Seymour, and they had uh, the old Field and Stream magazine. And they had one on uh, hunting and stuff. You know, that's what it's all about, hunting and such. But they had some survival stuff mentioned it too, so I saved up my pennies, nickels, and dimes. I went and bought that magazine. So it really in intrigued me, you know. And I had about a half of a Boy Scout manual that showed a lot of skills, and I fooled with that. So that got me kind of started. But Larry Dean's Olson's book, when I found that, it really lit my fire. Then later, of course, went to Tom Brown's School of Survival. And uh, there I just branched out from there trying to study and learn all that I could. Started going to, to nap ins, learning to flip nap. Been napping now for right at 25 years uh, at nap ends there's always people that had different skills and I'd watch and learn things there as well too and uh, so that's basically what got me started and got me hungry for it what would you say was your inspiration like, how did you come up with the idea for the JG3 well I constantly draw knives all my knives start on paper and uh, this knife come out a little bit later of course when uh, it come out I probably made it about I'm going to guess 16 years ago. I've been making knives since 1980, which I counted up here a while back to like 37 years. Uh, the uh, JG3, because the first few knives I've made, I've got one over here, shop, first one I ever made, I have a piece of a crosscut saw, and you'd probably laugh at it because it's a little narrow handle, it's got the big metal cutler rivets in it and all, like you did in the old hickory knives and things like that. But you learn to refine things, and uh, I went to the ABS Blade School, and Dr. Jim Batson is my mentor there. I spent two weeks with him in the intro course and later went back. I've had four other different classes with Master Smith. And, uh, but Joe Kiesler said all his started on paper, and I thought, you know, mine do too. And uh, so I started drawing knives constantly. I'd draw a picture of it. I'd lay it on the table, and I'd go to bed at night, get the come next morning, look at it, and I'd say, that don't look right. And I'd erase and change it. I may draw on that knife two or three days until I get what I felt like I needed. Then I'd make a prototype of it and see how it felt in my hand because if a knife don't feel good, you don't want to use it. But this knife here, it had a, kind of a bulb in the center, which I like a bulb for it real well too, but it fit my hand great and it felt like a knife that would be make a good using hunting knife, utility carry knife. So uh, I do make bigger knives, but I make more using knives than I do big knives. So that's what kind of got me started and just went from there with it. James, everything you make is a work of art. But always a pleasure to work with you. Uh, hey, buddy. Guys, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks, guys.